Welcome to the He's Got Issues DC Comics Edition number 146.2. I'm John Cooney here to preview new DC Comics being released November 5th, 2014, beginning alphabetically with Action Comics number 36. A new epic begins, the deck is stacked against Superman when Smallville is poisoned by the appearance of a dark magic and ancient horrors. Can Superman figure out what's going on and save his hometown before this evil epidemic spreads across the entire world? Next, we've got Aquaman and the Others, number 7. While the secrets of their past continue to be used against them, the Others face down the lethal KG Beast, and it's not going to go well. One of these heroes may not walk away from this confrontation. We've also got Batman Essentials, Batman Year One Special Edition, number 1, for a dollar. Batman's 75th anniversary celebration continues with another promotionally priced special presenting one of the Dark Knight's greatest tales, plus related pages from the 2014 DCE Essential Graphic Novels catalog. This special kicks off the acclaimed best-selling tale of Bruce Wayne's first year as the Dark Knight. Next, we have Batman Eternal, number 31, the team-up you never saw coming, Alfred Pennyworth and Bane. We've also got Detective Comics number 36 and Terminal Part 2, Batman's efforts to stop a contagion at the Gotham Airport come crashing down. Next we have Earth 2 number 28. With the world around them on fire, the heroes of Earth 2 were met with the worst villains they've ever encountered, the Four Furies of Apocalypse. But what shocking connection do famine, pestilence, death, and war share with the larger DC Universe? Find out here as their origins are revealed. We've also got Earth 2 World's End number 5, as Earth 2 burns, Green Lantern battles Grundy. Next we have Ferris number 31, the penultimate chapter of the Clamor for Glamour, poses the question, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? Will it be good enough to win the best garden at the farm contest? Mary certainly hopes so, although an impressionable little lamb and his pals may be about to spoil it all thanks to a little inspiration from a pile of Pinocchio's favorite comic books. Meanwhile, an unplanned arrival brings Renard and Megan a new bundle of joys and woes. We've also got The Flash Season Zero Number 2. Barry Allen and the CCPD investigate the murder of a man who appears to have been killed by snakes. But what's the connection to last issue's freakishly strong bank robber, and who is the mysterious Mr. Bliss? Next we have Gotham Academy number 2. Olive joins the creepy order of the bat in an after-school activity, and we learn more about her secret past. Boss got Grayson number 4. Grayson travels deeper into the organized chaos that is Spiral. Can he keep track of all the lies, or will he fall apart once he can no longer tell fact from fiction? Next we have Green Arrow number 36. Green Arrow can hardly catch his breath as he returns to Seattle to find new allies and a new mission. Some things never change though as Ollie is making new people want to kill him. We've also got Green Lantern number 36, Godhead Act 2 Part 1. With the various Lantern Corps routed by the new gods, Hal Jordan leads the survivors to a haven that may not be any safer, the Alien Matter Universe. But as differences are set aside and strategies drawn, the greatest of the Lanterns makes a decision that will forever alter his life and the future of the Corps, and it involves enlisting the help of the deadliest of threats. Here's a hint, Black Hand. Next we have Injustice, Gods Among Us, Year 3, Number 3. As Constantine gathers his forces against Superman, the Man of Steel gains a surprising ally, the Swamp Thing. Superman and Luther's efforts to remake the world have drastically reduced pollution, something that is looked favorably upon by the Green. We've also got Justice League 3000, Number 11. The Five have been defeated, but the Justice League has no time to catch their breath with the forces of Etrigan the Demon massing for attack and the threat of the new Injustice League rising. Plus a stunning discovery on Takrun Galtos. Next we have Lobo number 2. Against his better judgment, Lobo defends the Earth against alien attackers. Plus learn more about Lobo's mysterious past. We've also got the names number 3 of 9. While the psychopath known as the surgeon hunts down brilliant misfit Philip, Katya follows a trail of clues left by her late husband, which leads to Amsterdam and a bizarre sect known as the Tulips. The unlikely partnership of mother and stepson arrive in the heart of the financial district, where it seems that Katya's late husband is about to speak. Next we have New 52 Futures End number 27. Batman stalks his mysterious high-tech doppelganger as Lois Lane and the secret army fueled by the wrath of fallen and exiled heroes converge on Cadmus Island. We've also got Scooby-Doo team-up number 7. When a test of Dr. Albrecht Einstein's time machine goes awry, Scooby-Doo and the gang find themselves the unexpected guests of everyone's favorite modern Stone Age family, the Flintstones. 
and they've arrived just in the nick of time because Bedrock is being plagued by that notorious spook, the Phantom of the Opera Rock. Next, we have Superman Unchained number 9, final issue. This is it, the extraordinary finale of Scott Snyder and Jim Lee's Superman saga, surrounded by an epic wraparound cover. It's a battle in the sun as Superman and Wraith accept their destinies, and Lex Luthor pulls the trigger on his ultimate weapon. We've also got Swamp Thing number 36, The Machine Queen Part 2. The Machine Kingdom is not happy with Swamp Thing, and the lines of battle are drawn. But Alec Holland has a humanity the Machine Kingdom lacks, and that gives him an edge, at least for now. Still no man, not even a plant one, is an island, and Swampy must seek out his true love, Abigail Arcane. We hear the rod is very nice this time of year. And we've got Tiny Titans Return to the Treehouse number 6 of 6. In this final miniseries issue, Cyborg uses his connections to the Justice League to build an awesome new tower, but it just doesn't feel like home. Can anything be done to get the old treehouse back? Out in trades this week, we've got Animal Man Volume 5 Evolve or Die trade paperback. The final battle for the Red begins here. Brother Blood has come to claim the mantle of Avatar from the Animal Man's daughter Maxine, murdering and plundering his way to power. Now Buddy Baker must defeat this evil, no matter what the cost. Collecting issues number 24 through 29. Next, we have Batman Arkham Asylum 25th Anniversary Deluxe Edition Trade Paperback New Edition. One of the greatest Batman stories ever told, Batman Arkham Asylum, is celebrated in this 25th Anniversary Deluxe Edition, offered simultaneously as both a Deluxe Edition hardcover and a new edition trade paperback at DC's standard trim with the new cover by Dale McKeon. The inmates of Arkham Asylum have taken over and are demanding Batman in exchange for their hostages. Accepting their demented challenge, Batman is forced to endure the personal hells of the Joker, Scarecrow, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, and many other sworn enemies in order to save the innocents and retake the prison. During his run through this absurd gauntlet, the Dark Knight must face down both his most dangerous foes and his inner demons. We've also got Batman Beyond 2.0 Rewired trade paperback. It's a new direction for Terry McGinnis as Commissioner Barbara Gordon enlists Terry's help while investigating the death of Neo Gotham's mayor in the new Arkham Institute. Was it really only a heart attack, or was one of Arkham's infamous inmates responsible? Don't miss these stories from Batman Beyond Universe 2.0, number 1 through 16. And we've got the Wake hardcover. The entire 10-issue Eisner Award-nominated series is collected in one volume. When marine biologist Lee Archer is approached by the Department of Homeland Security for help with a new threat, she declines but quickly realizes they won't take no for an answer. Soon she is plunged to the depths of the Arctic Circle to a secret underwater oil rig filled with roughnecks and scientists on the brink of an incredible discovery. But when things go horribly wrong, the scientific safe haven will turn into a house of horrors at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so that's it for DC this week, but of course there's still plenty of other books out this week too, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'scotissues.com to see both the Marvel and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.